All right. If you're a LinkedIn power user like myself and you're looking to grow and expand your reach and using different features on LinkedIn, well, there's a great feature. Um, it's been around for a while, but they're definitely increasing the exposure and it's around newsletters. And one of the thought leaders in the space when it comes to how to maximize LinkedIn for your growth, well, her name is Judy Fox. And I wanted to break down this quick video that she's sharing specifically around newsletter and the analytics that you can get now. Check it out. LinkedIn has now updated the analytics, which I love that they're investing in that. You get to track not only your follower growth, maybe you're, you want to analyze what articles did well. You now get a chart and can go back 365 days to see what worked over the past year to grow your subscribers. Love that. And then the ability to also see where your um, audience is from, what industry, what their titles are. You can start segmenting all the pieces of your audience. I loved that I got to look to see, was I attracting a local audience? And I was. And I also can go through all of my followers and start connecting with them. LinkedIn has now updated the analytics, which I love that they're investing in that. You get to track not only your follower growth, maybe you're, you want to analyze what articles did well. You now get a chart and can go back 365 days to see what worked over the past year to grow your subscribers. Love that. All right, Judy, thank you so much. And now, you know, she was going down the analytics trail and that's what I wanted to break down to show you my analytics when it comes to specifically uh, LinkedIn and using the power of the newsletter. So you can see up here on the screen, I'm going to increase the fonts a little bit. So she mentioned, hey, you can go back, look at 365 days and you can go back and see, and this is exciting to her point too, um, how many specific article views and look to see which articles uh, did the most when it uh, comes to the views, right? Uh, you can break down, you can see how many overall, so 700, sorry, 7,553. We've got new subscribers here. Uh, then you can look at new subscribers. Let's show results over that 365 days. And this is pretty interesting. So when I first launched my newsletter last year, um, this was like the first day or the first couple of days and if you can if you can't see that number the first couple of days after i launched i blew up right away with about 357 uh, new subscribers and that was the power of linkedin and really opened my eyes to say hey i should be using linkedin newsletter much more often right so these analytics are definitely helping from that perspective uh, judy also mentioned hey she can see now in the analytics job titles right so you can see which specific job titles are part of your newsletter followership. And then she mentioned location. So she was like, hey, are these local based or more national companies? So I'm based in Phoenix and have a little bit more higher percentage, but um, San Diego, San Francisco. So you can see that as well. And the other thing that she mentioned, which is super cool, we can see actually the new subscribers, right? So I can see all these new subscribers. And again, it's kind of mind boggling, but um, they didn't have this tool, these analytics when, uh, newsletters first came out. So if you're looking to grow the adoption, uh, or at least the influence that you're trying to grow in LinkedIn and whatever specialty that you're in, whether you're influencer or not influencer, I would highly recommending, uh, highly recommend using these newsletters to grow your thought leadership in your space. So as you map out the rest of your strategies for LinkedIn, I hope this has been valuable. Bye for now.